feel like it's like 90 degrees in this car right now. <sighs> okay. All right, so while editing, I came to the conclusion that the most important part of my video had been deleted. The whole reason that I did this video is because the past few weeks I've been pretty depressed. Um, and so I wanted to show a video um, of healthy coping mechanisms and kind of some things that I do that help me. Many people know I struggle with depression, anxiety, and an eating disorder. Um, and so I want to be a light on this platform and be able to kind of express myself in a way that's real but also positively impactful. Uh, one of the first things um, that I talked about in the clip that got deleted was getting ready. I think getting up and out of bed is a really important part of kind of beating your depression. Um, it's very easy for me to curl up in a ball and just stay in my bed. Um, I think that's a very common thing for people who are depressed, um, especially I'm someone who like loves people and I'm super extroverted. Uh, but when I get depressed, you know, I like don't want to see my friends and I don't want to do anything. So one of the biggest things that you'll see in the continue of the video is that I got up, I put on a cute outfit, I put some makeup on, which is very different for me because I don't usually do that because that's the first step in attacking, you know, depression is, you know, you don't want to do it, but you do it anyway. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pop in because this whole video was kind of going to be confusing. Um, if I didn't come in here and explain why I'm doing these random tasks in the first place. Um, but yeah, so enjoy the rest of the video. Another thing that I wanted to add is when it comes to informing the people that do love you kind of about how you're doing, um, I tend to be honest. I think that there's a time and place for honesty, but you just have to know your boundaries and, and not cross those. Because yes, they're your friends, they're also not your therapist. So that is a big lesson that I've learned and shout out to all my friends um, who really walked alongside of me when I was a shitty friend, when I was in really dark places. So with that said, you know, be honest with your friends. You know, you can tell them, hey, I'm not doing super well, whatever. Um, and just take the time for yourself that you need. Love it when you say you won't. Love it when you say you won't. Searching for a nigga that can't pay his own. Got me waiting up till you come in. I'm still kind of vlog shy. Like, I still get nervous. Like, in the actual stores vlogging. But as you can see, I grabbed a ton of stuff. Um, why is this funny? When I go to Goodwill, I literally shop in boys and girls because I feel like I can find a lot of options. Like, what is this? This is like 2009 low jeans. <laughs> what? Can we check? All right, so that. Uh, I hate the mask. Still cold. Safety first. Oh, we'd love a good hand sanitizer. Okay. Off to women's we go. Literally took me five minutes, and guess what? Literally all the produce got, it was 240. So like making your own juice literally saves you so much money. So this is the juicer. Um there's a ton of different parts. That's probably the most difficult thing about it is just Cleaning it is kind of difficult. This is where all the trash goes, the stuff that isn't the juice. And then the juice actually floods into this little container that looks like this. So you have like the actual blade itself detaches. It looks like that. And then what pushes down the food and then obviously the cap. And then as you saw before, this keeps everything tight on. 
first juice we're going to do is going to be a green blend. So for the vegetables, we're going to be using celery um, and cucumber. And for the fruits, we're going to be using Granny Smith apples and a lime if needed. Now, when making juice, it's really important that you get some type of produce that has a lot of water um, because apples aren't going to give you as much water as the celery does. And so obviously it's not water, but it gives you a little bit more of a liquid to balance with. So that's what we're going to be doing for one. So as you can see here, we have everything cut. I do cut it up just so you don't want to dull the blade when it's an easy cut um, on the chopping board. So here's where all the disposal goes and you're going to take an old grocery bag and line it like this so it's a quick up and out. And the foam is a natural part of juicing. That's amazing though. Good thing I actually look like a maid. I think that getting in the kitchen and working on small tasks are like another thing that helped me in addition to getting up, getting ready and getting out of the house. But like little tasks that you can accomplish um, and just give you that little bit of like satisfaction and reward is also something that I found has helped with depression. Um, and like the juice is so good, especially for people, I mean, anyone's gonna like it, but especially for people who have like eating disorder tendencies, juice is like a great thing to add to your meal plan because it actually adds extra vegetables and fruits but in a way that's like easier for your body to digest so remember how i got those jeans at goodwill well now we're going to cut them to make trendy shorts that i've been wanting kind of the inspiration okay so we're working with a little bit of a lower jean because that's just what we're working with so I'm gonna take the Sharpie and kind of find where I wanna cut these. So I think the easiest way to do this is to probably cut them along here, just to start, kind of do a ballpark. Here, I don't even know if these are gonna be cute, you guys. I really don't know. Cutting them shorter, and the only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is because they're not high-waisted, they hit kind of low on my body. So I'm just trying to decide what kind of shorts I want to make these. Honestly, I'm not in love yet. I think it's because they're lower, but I'm going to try to fall in love with them. So I'm going to fray the bottoms, cut a hole here on one of them, and then do a patch on this other side. Okay, so now that I got them a length that I like them and I've frayed it a little bit, I'm gonna cut out some hearts and see which color I like best. It's gonna go right here and then I have the sewing kit and I'll sew it, so yeah. Grabbed the wrong side of the needle, so. Woohoo! Love it when you say you won't. Love it when you say you won't. 
Searching for a nigga that can't pay his own Got me waiting up till you coming home uh, Love it when you say you won't Love it when you say you won't Searching for a nigga that can't pay his own Got me waiting up till you getting home Shawty on the go, she been moving Said she like the way that I do it Now she you, girl, I been zooming Came through under influence Know these lame niggas got you piped up Said that you ain't trying to get